Hey there, welcome to Authentically Raw. I'm your host, Jamie Darris. I just discovered the ultimate procrastination hack, and it is worth sharing. It is avoid this and get that done. I just avoided returning six phone calls, making three appointments, going through eh, 20-some unread emails, and sending several high-priority emails, writing a thousand words in the book I'm currently working on, doing the marketing assignment I was given eh, at least a month ago, and instead, I vacuumed, I mopped, I did three loads of laundry, played a game of Rumicube with my daughter, and organized three drawers and a closet I'd been meaning to get around to purging for months. So I avoided a bunch of stuff and I got a bunch of other stuff done. And lo and behold, then I sat down and tackled the biggest avoid of all, batching a bunch of mini episodes. So truly all the mindless chores that I started to do and taking the break and getting beat by a nine-year-old in Rumi Cube was exactly the brain break I needed to now all of a sudden come back, hit record, and blabber for a bit. I did that, and then I stopped, I took a break, and I also returned a couple of emails, not all, and then I got my thousand words of writing in today. So honestly, procrastination, it doesn't have to be a dirty word. So we all, we're we're always going to have stuff to do, right? There's always stuff looming in the air to get done. But think of it all. It can either gnaw away at you and you just keep shoving it, you know, shoving it back, making yourself feel guilty or bad, or we can just let it go. Because often we can cross stuff off our list and then three more things will just pop back up anyway. So there's always going to be something that we're pushing aside and procrastinating, But it doesn't have to make us feel bad. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. When we just flip the script and give ourselves a job well done for all we actually did do. So there's often so much untapped momentum that like kicks in and then we want to go tackle at least some of this stuff. Like when I just took that break and went and did all that other stuff, my mind just started getting creative, right? And I use that momentum to boom, go sit down, get some work done, be productive in way less time than it normally would have taken. So try giving it less of a priority. Go do something else. You might surprise yourself and end up doing way more than you thought. So I guess now my big next thing is if I could talk myself into going outside in the sleet and getting rid of the dead Christmas planners on my front porch, but probably not. I think I'd rather just make the dreaded service call or better yet, spend quality time with my daughter who loves spending time with me and legitimately beating me in games. As always, I'm rooting for you. Be real, be raw, be authentic. Thank you so much for being here as we kick off this podcast together. I really appreciate you joining me on this journey because I'm well aware you could be doing or listening to anything right now. Hey, if you enjoy the Authentically Raw content, please support the show by following, rating, and reviewing on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. You can also follow me on social media for daily inspiration. Head over to my website, jamiebarris.com, to sign up for weekly transformation tips. Or if you're interested in coaching, I currently have three openings for one-on-one coaching. If you're looking for an empowering community, we'd love for you to join us in the Transformation Tribe our group coaching membership. More info available on my website under the life coaching and membership tabs. One last thing, I'm rooting for you. Be real, be raw, be authentic.